Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. As some of you may be aware, we are on our little staycation holiday at the moment in Bridlington in New Yorkshire. And because we're here and we do have one local to us here, we obviously don't have them in Scotland, we have Heron Foods nearby. And um, myself and hus my husband James have said, when we're down, we need to go to Heron Foods. And here we are, <laughs> we've been. So um, I hope for some of you who may have seen the video from yesterday, uh, with regards to our sort of travel day down to Yorkshire and a wee tour of the house, etc., that we're staying in. I hope that was good and hope it was useful for you. Um, if you do want any ideas or any information about the local area or about this cottage, um, as it is up for, for let on cottages.co.uk, um, then just let me know. It's not a problem at all. Um, and there is a little link in the bio as well with regards to the accommodation that we're in if you're interested. Um, certainly today we're going to be going over what we managed to get from Heron Foods. Um, James's gran, when she was still with us and lived here, um, she used to go to Heron's Foods a lot and she was a firm believer in getting a really good bargain and getting the most for our money, which I think all of us need to be doing just now. It certainly is something that myself and James do try to abide by. So all in all, we have two pretty heavy bags of um, groceries. We did walk down the promenade today. We had some lunch. Um, J James and I managed to share a sort of Yorkshire pudding wrap, which had roast beef and onion and gravy inside. Um, so if I can, I'll maybe try to add in a small little video of that. Um, if it doesn't work, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go through our bags today and show you what, you, what we managed to get for our money. In total, we got 18 products and we paid a total of £21.32. Now, that for me, straight away, is a bargain. Now, we've not got really healthy, nutritious food in here. We went there because we're on holiday and because we wanted to see what sort of new things we could buy, sort of treats, etc. That we, that we could buy to keep us going on the rest of the holiday. Um, so if I can, I will go through the prices from the receipt, um, but it is all sort of coded, so please bear with me. Um, if I can't tell you the price or find it, then you know, it is what it is. But if you do want to know the specific prices of anything, please just let me know in the comments and I will try to decipher this lovely receipt as best as possible. So let's get started. So the first item on our list is Branston beans. Um, might be a little bit controversial, but James and I, when we do have beans, which is not all the all the time, we prefer Branston beans. Personally for me, um, Heinz beans are just too sweet and they are actually more pricey at times as well. And when we're just buying like the one or two cans, it does work out better for us to buy the Branston ones. But the Branston ones also have little sausages in them if you choose that type and the sausages are much, much better than the Heinz ones. So that's another reason that we like them. So um, let me just see. So this is a 400 grams bag, a uh, 400 grams tin, and it was, oh, I can't see it. I can't see it on the list. We did buy it, we did pay for it. Um, Branston beans, one pounds 39. We got some Mayflower special fried rice. There we go. We've had this at home and it's absolutely lovely. Um, I think that was, oh dear, I'm not doing too well with this. £1.69. I think I'm going to pop my receipt down to be honest. Um, we got San Marco cheese and tomato pizza as well. Not seen this brand before, so we did want to give it a wee try. We have a bit of a pizza night. And we've got a munch pizza kit, which was margarita, and it makes two 12-inch pizzas. Everything you need to create authentic Italian-style pizzas at home with ease. It includes two dough, dough balls of pizza, two sashes of tomato sauce, mozzarella and polenta which is that sort of grainy stuff that you get on the bottom of um, authentic sort of pizzas you also get them at Domino's as well with a sort of polenta on the bottom um, and that's that there I think it looks really good we've not seen this in the shops before so I was really quite um, keen to try it um, 
We also have Mayflower Spring Rolls. These are duck flavour. The Mayflower stuff is fantastic to be honest. We, we live very close to uh, farm foods at home and they have a huge range of the Mayflower products and there is not one that hasn't you know, surpassed your expectations to be honest. Um, much, much cheaper than getting a takeaway if that's what you want. If you want some Chinese food at home, it's definitely something to consider. Um, we also have Lotus Biscoff ice cream cups. So there are four cups on here. There we go. And usually anything with Lotus, I would think would be quite expensive in the ice cream aisle. Um, but let me just see if I can quickly tell you the price. So it was £1.50, which I personally think is really good for value. Um, I mean, if you were to go and get an ice cream cup these days from an ice cream stand, you're talking at least £2-3 pounds or more. Um, so I think having these in the freezer will be a good shout. Um, we also have McVitie's Tartlets Raspberry Flavour. Um, so we just picked these up really. Just We don't buy biscuits at home. It's not like we have a biscuit tin or a biscuit cupboard or what. Um, but we thought, well, whilst we're here, we don't normally drink lots of tea or coffee at home. We generally don't have time. We both work full time and uh, sort of vlogging now, our YouTube channel is basically like having another full time job at home. Um, so often we don't have time to do very much other than what we do on a day to day basis. But uh, certainly having these little tartlets will be nice with a cup of tea or coffee either in the morning or maybe later on at night when we're watching TV. So I'm looking forward to them. These are raspberry flavour. They did also have chocolate flavour as well. Um, but what I thought was quite good is they are pretty small, you know, they're quite dainty little things. But they're only 35 calories per biscuit, which I thought's not too bad. So you can have a couple at a time. Um, and the final item from this bag is Kuplin's Taste of Pride since 1885. So there are a few Kuplin's um, sort of bakery shops um, open in this area. Um, it certainly isn't a place that I've been to before. I have seen Kuplin's in Bridlington and I know it's quite a big place, um, you know, it's quite a big company across Yorkshire, but certainly um, we saw these in the freezer aisle and we thought for Logan, James's son, um, he loves sausage rolls. So having some of these in the, the freezer for the sort of next couple of days or so for lunches or easy dinners with beans etc you know it's, a, it's a quick and easy meal for him we'll probably pop that in our air fryer and yes we did bring our air fryer down to Yorkshire with us we are now of that age group where it seems to be an acceptable thing to do so please don't judge us um, so yeah pop these down we haven't used the air fryer yet but it's something that we're looking to use over the coming days We've got some more Mayflower products in here. So we have our salt and pepper chicken Mayflower noodles, which I personally love. I think these are really, really good. The only bad thing about it is the salt content. It's, it's incredibly high. Um, obviously, it's not something you would have every day. It certainly isn't something I would eat every day, but make sure you've got plenty of water and share it up. Don't eat it all to yourself if you can help it. Um, but for frozen noodles and frozen sort of Chinese food, I think this is probably one of the best meals you're going to get for the money anyway. Um, and then I think this may be our last Mayflower product, if I remember correctly, but um, we've got curry and chips as well. So again, just a little bit of something different. We've, we've had these maybe once or twice at home, um, but we've not had it in such a big box. I think they do a slightly smaller tray as well, the sort of silver metal foil trays. Um, and they are crinkle cut chips. There's quite a, quite a good amount of sauce in there as well when you do cook it down. And then we've just got some more sort of snacky things as well. So I hope you don't mind me showing you. But we did manage to get seven days mini croissants with cocoa filling. So again, little snacks if we're going anywhere in the car. We are aiming to explore Yorkshire a bit wider as the week goes on. We're hoping to maybe go to the train, the train museum. We're hoping to maybe go into York. Um, yeah, so there's lots and lots of things for us to be able to do, but certainly having a wee snack like this in the car just kind of keeps you going a little bit, doesn't it? And it's not too messy as well, um, which is great when you've got a four-year-old. <laughs> um, we also have two cinnamon buns. So sweet dough buns rolled in cinnamon and sugar drizzled with icing. So these just have to be defrosted. Um, 
might not be the easiest thing to show you up close, but I hope you guys can see that okay. So basically what you do is you just keep them in the freezer, they were in the freezer aisle, and um, what you do is you just take them out and leave them to defrost. So if you are wanting to have them with coffee or as a wee snack or whatever, we'll probably share one of them like today or tomorrow and then we'll share another one as the week goes on. But um, there were a lot of different kinds of cakes there. They had sort of like vanilla crowns with the sort of um, custard inside. They also had raspberry ones as well. But there were 24 of them in the bag and it just seemed like a waste. I think they would have been perfect if the bag was a little bit smaller and because we're not staying here for any more than about a week or so, we don't want to just, you know, eat all of 24 pastries just because we feel we have to. And we also don't want to buy them to put them in the freezer to then have to bin them if we don't use them up. So it was really just to sort of mitigate any excess waste um, which we're trying to avoid. And we also have Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. So it's a British brand since 1871. So Dandelion and Burdock, for you guys who don't know, is as a botanical blend of wild and unruly dandelions and the purple flowering burdock. It sounds rather daft. That's what it says on here. It sounds rather daft or stupid. But did you know our British ancestors have been making this mysterious combination since the Middle Ages? proving it's totally timeless. Um, so in Yorkshire, as far as I'm led to believe by my Yorkshireman husband, is whenever you have a fish and chips or fish supper, um, you have dandelion and burdock with it. Now, I have had it before when we've been staying here, when we have had fish and chips, and obviously we are near the seaside. We're hoping to do a wee bit of a video with the best fish and chips type thing in the area whilst we're here, so stay tuned for that. But um, certainly with regards to this, um, we had it in a can last time, but this with a little bit of ice from the fridge, which is such a novelty for us because we just, we don't have that at home, uh, goes extremely well with fish and chips. And I must admit, I didn't believe James when he told me that it was really nice, but it was. So I'm glad I've tried it and I'm glad I know what it's like, but it's one to look out for if you're looking forward for that. We also have few different sort of frozen drinks as well. So we have raspberry, ma raspberry mojito, I can't speak, um, freeze and squeeze flavour alcoholic sorbet. Um, so James and I, we're not big drinkers at all, but whilst we're here, this is the only alcohol that we've got, we bought it today. Um, and it's a bit strange because when you're in England, there is no sort of minimum unit pricing like Scotland has. Um, and let me just refer to my receipt very quickly if I can. Um, so these were one pounds, one pounds for that. Now I know in Scotland, you're probably talking double price, if not more for one of these. Um, and obviously we're not big drinkers. We're not that way inclined at all, but a wee sort of slushy cold drink will be nice. And um, even better that we managed to save a little bit of money on it. So we'll pop, this, pop these down. And the Slush Puppy, original blue raspberry flavour slushy. So no added sugar made with fruit juice. So we did get this for Logan eh, just to try him with it. He's had a couple of slushies, a couple of kind of cold ice drinks recently and he's been really not very happy with them. Um, so I don't know if it's just because it's really cold and he doesn't expect it to be as cold because it's a drink. Um, or I'm not sure to be honest. I mean, he likes ice lollies and he's okay with ice creams and things like that. But um, yeah, we're trying to get him, you know, used to things, I suppose is the right term. But uh, yeah, just need to pop this in the freezer for a couple of hours and then squeeze it. So hopefully he does like this. We'll probably just give him a wee bit to first to try and then see how it goes after that. And again, the last item is for Logan and he really likes chocolate milk. Um, the brand that we normally get is cheaper back home than it was in Heron Foods and so obviously you do need to check your pricing but we know the sort of regular products that we do get for Logan when he's with us and um, he likes chocolate milk so just to get him to drink some milk and get him some calcium into him as well um, the Au Natural chocolate flavouring milk drink is one of his favourites by Nesquik and this was actually cheaper than the other brand that we usually get which is in a glass bottle. 
So, as I said, all in all, we paid a total of £21.30 and we got 18 products. So I think for everything that we have here, I think we, we, we got a really, really good deal. Um, what I would say is that our most expensive product was the Munch Margarita Pizza Kit, which obviously has enough pizza dough in it and sort of stuff in there to make up two 12 inch pizzas. And even then it was only two pounds. So a really good deal um, for two basically pizza bases that you make from scratch. Everything else was between £1.69 and 59p. Yep, 59 pence per bottle of this, um, which is about half price or maybe even a third of the price that you would pay for a bottle of Diet Coke or whatever these days. Um, so yeah, I hope this has been useful. If you do want to go through, do want me to go through any of the product prices with you guys at home, let me know in the comments section once you see this video and I'm more than happy to go over any of it with you if it's something that you would like to try or we have tried all of these products before apart from the sausage rolls, the Biscoff cups and the sort of pizza things here. Um, so yeah generally tried most of it i mean most of it you probably kind of know what it tastes like anyway but if anyone is interested and you want to know a wee bit more info just let me know in the comments section below as well now i hope you are enjoying our slightly different setup for videos and again if you are let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to see or do or try whilst we're down here as well then please let me know in the comments as well so as always thank you so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one thanks bye